My cows have chopped down the grass in this front pasture here and I need to move them to my back pasture and there's no fence or anything in between here and the back pasture. The last time we had to do anything with this beef heifer here was when we got her, had to unload her off the trailer and just get her into the crowd and let her out in the pasture. Pretty simple, but it was a little crazy because she's kind of wild. She came off of a buck and bull ranch. All that there is is this trail that goes through the woods here. This is the pasture that they're in right now. And then, hey, there's my beehives. And then this trail goes back here through the woods. So I'm thinking with the trees that are on both sides of this trail, I think I'll be able to lead the milk cow back here and have the beef heifer follow, but I don't know. This pasture in the back here is absolutely beautiful. I just love it. It's about the same size as the one in the front. The only thing is, like I said, I separate that little calf at night. And I separate the heifer calf at night so that I get the milk in the morning. To get her up into the corral at the barn, I've got to leave my cow up there and have her followed. And I've got to have somewhere back here to separate her. So I'm gonna need a shelter and a little corral. I actually, when I first got my milk cow, I built a little A-frame shelter that I would use to milk her out on pasture, move it around and stuff. I gave up on that pretty quickly, but it still works as a little shelter. So what I'm gonna do, it's actually over my dad's place right now. I'm gonna go load that up on the trailer and bring it over here and build a little corral right here. Now I wanna take all this stuff back to the pasture, get it unloaded, and then go over to my dad's place and get that little shed. I don't have a hitch hooked up to my tractor, so taking it back there with the man van. Pretty much didn't get anything done in the corral last night. Got everything out there. Still got to go pick up that little shed. But before we got started this morning, we went to a couple garage sales just down the road and I thought I would show off some of the stuff that I got because it's pretty cool. Shelly started baking her sourdough bread in a Dutch oven. She found one at a thrift store for $15. Well, today we found another one, a cast iron Dutch oven for $9. And I got this little Multimaster thing here and a Dewalt cordless weed eater for free but it doesn't work, so I have to see if I can fix it. But one of the things that I'm most excited about is this dolly right here that I'm hoping to be able to use for Izzy's chicken pen so that he can move it himself because I've still been moving his chicken pen for him. So Izzy, let's go out there and try this dolly out and see if you can move your chicken pen. Okay, now once it's all the way in like that, then try it. I think what we're gonna need to do is like, bend this front thing down, and then bend it to make like a hook in the front. The handle would be all the way down here, and it'd be a little easier for you just to push on it a little bit. Something like that, but I think we'll be able to make it work. All right, we're headed out to go get that little shed, bring it back here, try to get this corral built. I'm afraid it's gonna take a lot longer than I have planned for. We're gonna go see Papa. Here at my dad's place now, and here is that little shed. It's been here for a while, hasn't been used in quite a while. Kind of buried in the dirt and stuff. Who knows, it might be pretty rotten. Gonna have to see if we can dig that out of there. It's got wheels on the back, but the tires are probably flat. It's not very heavy, so we'll just have to pull it out and get it up on the trailer. I decided it would be easier to pull the shed up between those RVs rather than trying to back the trailer. Finally got it up here, and now I'm gonna have to try to get it up onto the trailer. Let's see how that goes. Oh no. Now both of the back corners are broken off. Come on. So we've got this thing on the back now, headed down the road, and I'll admit it is super sketchy. We're just gonna be going real slow. So it made it back here. It's a little scary because those back two corners came loose. There goes a vulture right there. Good grief. Before I take it out to the back field, I'm gonna have to fix the bottom of that. It's just rotten and stuff. I don't think those were treated down at the bottom. 
Hey, they've lasted a few years. I'm going to cut these off a little bit to take care of some of the rotted stuff at the bottom and then put a new two by six down here at the bottom. I think I've got some treated ones here. If I can't find anything treated, I'll just put something else under there. This is just kind of a temporary fix, but it's gotta at least be good enough to make it back there and stand up straight. Got it on these legs right here, but it's a little sketchy. So before I cut the other side loose, I wanna screw this bottom board on just in case it would fall, and this would at least stop it from falling too far. Not a very pretty little shed, but it's one that will work, right? Now I just gotta build a corral around it. I'm gonna take the van back up to the house so the kids can wash it. And I'm gonna bring the tractor down here with the post hole digger, dig some holes for these posts for the gate. After driving my van back in the field, look what I found. I've got the tractor and the post hole digger back here, ready to dig my first hole. This post puller right here was one of the best investments I ever made on our homestead. drilled it at the wrong mark. Now the gate's up, I need to put the back two corner posts in so that I can put the sides and the back on. Still a good bit of work to do and I am getting really hot and sweaty out here. That's all right, gotta get it done. So Saturday evening, I was out here till about 10 o'clock at night trying to get this corral done. And I got it pretty much done, all except for the boards that I wanna put up around the top. So I gotta do that yet. And then I gotta get the electric fence ready. And then we'll be ready to bring those cows up here. Can we put the cows back here tonight? That's what I'm planning to do. So I just got the corral done, got all my fences put up how I need them put up, and I'm ready to bring the cows back here. Shelly's been waiting on me, so let's go get this done. A little nervous as to how this is gonna go because never had to move that beef heifer yet, peaches, but Maddie's been back here lots of times, so she'll be plenty used to it. I'll just lead her right up this trail here and hope that peaches and maple both follow her. Could be a rodeo, could be a good time. is a beef heifer deterrent. <laughs> Looks like it'll work, right? We bring Maddie down here, throw the gate open, and lead her that way. Don't go anywhere, stay actually back a little bit farther, mostly just so they wouldn't try to go up towards the house. Then once peaches and maple follow that way, then you guys start walking behind. Live life like somebody left the gate open. Come on, cows, this way. No, 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 peaches. Come on, this way, cows.
look at that cow's current. Hey cowboys and cowgirls, was that fun? Oh yeah. It is so beautiful back here. This pasture is really nice and lush and green. It's a nicer pasture than the one in the front, but we are gonna miss having them up front because we can see them more often. When they're back here, we don't really get to see them much. Now the trick is actually getting Maple into that corral at night. This is a big wide open pasture. She's got a lot of place to run. So basically, hopefully they will respond to coming to a bucket of feed and I'll be able to get her into that corral back there. I really wasn't sure how that was going to go. Maple just kind of goes wherever she wants, does whatever she wants. Peaches won't let me get anywhere near her to pet her or anything. But they really just followed Maddie right back here and it worked out just fine. It was a lot of fun. Yeah.